Hi, well, you know, this is like um, Cam Studio recording this video, and I am showing you here the TCP client server. This is a server. As you can see, it's got TCP listener right here as the server. Server equals nothing. We're going to try something here. Here's the try. First of all, we dim ports 8012, then we dim a local address, which is the local loopback address. We start the TCP listener, dim it, declare it, should I say, then we start it. We add a little bit of text to say the service started. Right, then we enter in a do loop, do while true. I'm entering one of these loops. Now, if not pending, then no connection pending, then do it, do it else. Anyway, here we go. We've got data here to receive or receive the data. We've got a TCP client, a socket TCP client. Server accept TCP client. That's when someone connects to us. This blocks. This line here blocks until a connection is made. Anyway, then we can get the stream right here. Anyway, if it can read and can write the network stream, we move on to declare a file system. This is a new file what we're creating. I'll show you that file right now. As soon as this boots up. This is a file here. Let's minimize this. Here is the file. We're going to delete that. That's our previously written file. Anyway, we create a writer, a binary writer on that file, and we enter in a do while loop here. Now we send, get the send data, call a do events just so the application still works in this loop, and we're reading a byte by byte into send. And then we're using that writer for the file system up here to write send to the file. Now, if we have a look, this is a different program. This is the TCP client. We're doing a try as well, again in this block. We've got the same port, same IP address don't have to be the same but it will help in this one machine setting dim network and get stream we're going to get stream here after connecting then can read can write we are dimming a new file system here that's the original file womanizer reader writer reader I mean read bytes, it's reading the file and it's writing it to the network stream, the send bytes what we've just received this network of bytes, oh, rubbish anyway let's run this one minimize this let's run this one minimize that these are the two programs, this is the server this is the client, so we'll start the server, as you can see the server is started, um, so that's connected just now, now we've got a bit of a wait, we're waiting for the file to be transferred over byte by byte and read off the stream it's a 7.41 megabyte file 
seven megabytes just over. Just on, I think it's just under half, seven and a half megabytes. Now this is how long a seven and a half megabyte file takes to transfer from one program to the next on the local loopback machine. Just imagine how long it will take over a network with collisions and packet loss, packet dropping. I mean packets being delivered out of order, out of sequence. It will take a fair while longer than this. This is on a purely local loopback address. This has got no packet loss, supposedly, and everything gets delivered in sequence. This is as best as you know network performance you can get on this machine, and this is taking a long time. You know. still going you know it'll say finished when it's in the, in the server window when the transfer has completed we haven't got much time left that's the problem I think it usually takes 40 to 30 seconds And time it yourself if you want. From the point of clicked button one on the client to the point where it says finished in the server window. It should be done any minute now. Any minute now it should be done. Oh, this is taking a ridiculous amount of time. Maybe because I'm recording this video and it just slow down the programs a bit when I'm recording. But I mean, I'm running out of time here for this video. Well, as you can see, Womanizer has been made here. I would have liked to have played the music file to you, but it just don't seem to be finishing. <coughs> come on, come on. Well, we've got 110 seconds left. Maybe it will finish in this time. I mean, it's saying there's a womanizer file there, but it's. Oh, so it's done 1.17 megabytes. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is going to finish now, this video. But that's the idea. It takes a long time to transfer over. Bite, bite, bite. And I'd like to have played the music file for you, but sadly, I don't. I doubt you would have heard it anyway, because my system cancels out the local loopback on this system.